The cabinet has cleared a relaxation of FDI norms in multi-brand uh, retail. This is to do with uh, infrastructure, the back-end infrastructure, the investments that are to be made in that space. It's to do with sourcing. It's to do with the opening of stores as well. And now we're hearing of relaxation. Let's find out more from Nazia Iqbal. Uh, she is our reporter who's tracking all the developments in the capital. Nazia, what are you hearing on what the cabinet has okayed? Well, yes, it is a huge news coming right now, but as of now, the cabinet has cleared mainly the cap in FDI uh, in different sectors, the relaxation of cap that was, that is what was started from the finance ministry, a team who has set a report saying that if we relax the cap in different sectors, we will see more investments coming in the country. It included even um even sectors like telecom and defense where they said that to increase the cap so that we see more people coming in and investing in the country. Now, that report has finally come to its uh, finality by saying that, yes, we will increase the cap. Now, the, the sectors that have seen increase include important sectors like telecom, defense, and also retail and FBI, which has of late or uh, even when it began, became a huge political issue as well. Now, telecom, uh, now, FDI multi-brand retail has been increased from a 51% to a 74% uh, by, uh, by when the cabinet cleared this particular cap on the sector. Now, also in, in the matter of telecom, telecom is now 100% FDI in telecom has been, uh, has been approved by the cabinet, which means earlier it was 74%, and now a 100% increase, which, which, will make, which will mean that investors from all over the world can come and invest as a whole in the country. Now, also for uh, Telecom, there, there were a lot of discussions that were held. They were also talking about how the Home Ministry should uh, come in between and see if there are any security issues for the particular reason for Telecom as well as Defense. So all these caps have been relaxed uh, given that the Cabinet, cabinet has approved uh, the, remo the relaxing of the caps of these sectors. So telecom, defense, retail, we're talking about a whole host of sectors when it comes to FDI norms. We're talking about relaxation on those norms, clearly in a bid to draw more foreign investment. Abhijit is also joining us from our Delhi newsroom. Abhijit, just put in context for us the kind of scenario that we are in, economically speaking, to be able to uh, see this kind of relaxation right now that the cabinet has okayed. Well, you know... Uh if you look at uh, the governor's speech yesterday, I mean, day before, on the monetary policy, he's made it very clear that the, the temporary measures that the RBI is taking, and I, I'm using the word temporary, the governor did not, the measures that the RBI has taken essentially to shore up the rupee uh, can, can at best be a short term in a way, because at the end of the day, there are fundamental issues with economy. The CAD is a problem. And uh, to fix it, it's only the government that can fix it by attracting more investments, more dollar investments into the country. And as part of the ongoing reform exercise, as part of the ongoing uh, kind of opening up several sectors, this exercise is being conducted by Mr. Chidambaram. Um, the Prime Minister chaired a meeting recently, if you recall, and uh, 12 sectors were actually opened up, at least for the automatic route. Now, the Cabinet, of course, is doing a couple of things today, and very important decisions. One, of course, is ensuring that all those decisions taken by the Prime Minister are, uh, actually have the Cabinet stamp. As Nazir just pointed out, sectors like uh, telecom, for example, uh, and defense, uh, despite the opposition of Mr. A. Cantony, will actually go through relaxation in these norms. Crucially, uh, there, there were some sectors which were problem sectors. For example, uh, FD and multi-brand retail and civil aviation. We still don't know what will happen to civil aviation, but as far as FD and uh, multi-brand retail is concerned, remember the cap is 51%, but a lot of these players, like you know the Walmarts, the Tescos, and the Carrefours of the world, who are otherwise big retail players, they, they had made it very clear to the Indian authorities that, look, you know, with the kind of norms that are in place, we're not just going to come in, as simple as that. And Walmart going so far as to say that your sourcing norm of sourcing 30% from MSMEs is something we just can't do. We can at best do 20%. So what was on the cards today? The cabinet wanted or wants to ensure that these players come in with more dollar funds and therefore a dilution of these norms was on the cards, which is exactly what the cabinet has done. I will, in a minute, of course, go through what these dilutions uh, are, but that is the broad thrust 
of the cabinet uh, decision today. There are of course other minor decisions taken, minor but important decisions. They've cleared the rail tariff authority. Remember that is a big, big uh, step forward in terms of pricing of rail fares. Uh, that of course would be an independent authority which will set uh, uh, tariffs as far as the railway is concerned. But from the FDI point of view, again clearly uh, a bid to win back investor confidence and ensure that those dollars uh, flow back into the economy. Thank mm -hmm. you.